This morning we're speaking with motorsport legend Ken Smith and John Tomlin about an exciting new series we're about to see on the tracks around New Zealand. Well, basically how it started off was discussion between Ken and I one day about the amount of Formula Atlantics out there and how we could get them going. Then this thing sort of started to grow legs <laughs> because I contacted a few people that Ken put me in touch with and all of a sudden I'm getting emails coming back and then we realised a lot of single seaters like Formula Holdens, Formula 3s, Formula 2s, some of the Formula Suzuki's, all those cars out there as well. So that's really how it started. So we're looking at going forward and putting maybe, you know, we're hoping to get sort of 35, 40 cars on a grid. Well, I've been pushing to try and get Atlantics going for quite a while. We've got a few together, like 15 or 16 at Ruapuna for the Lady Wigram Trophy race there about three years ago, but then they dwindled off. So now talking with John, we've got pushed this thing along again, and I'm sure we can liven these guys up because a number of cars have come out of America, so they've got to go somewhere. And um, there's 50 cars in this country at least. So, you know, we've got a good variety in it and I'm sure it's just a matter of winding these guys up so we can get a strong series. And they're good entertaining cars and you get three or four guys having a real battle with these and that's what spectators want to see. You want guys passing like Formula Fords do and these cars are capable of doing that. It's entertainment because of the noise, the speed of them and they look old still and they're getting the job done. People say, what's the greatest car you ever drove? Well, obviously a 5000 was but I'd have to put an Atlantic car in the same field as a 5000. I mean, I've driven TRS, I've driven all sorts of single-seaters, but those two models of cars are the greatest thing ever. We've got a young guy, Tom Alexander, that he runs cars for me, and, uh, and he's 22 now, but he started here at 16 driving cars, and he's driven these Atlantic cars and little Formula 3 cars, and he just loves them. That car there, now you could, going back in the KK Rosberg days, I had that when Rosberg was running up. It's done about 11 race meetings in its life, and there, that's which. I actually hated that car when I first bought it, because we got outlawed out of 5000s back in 70, end of 76 to, to drive these, and I just, I thought, this is just ridiculous, coming out of, you know, 580 horsepower into 220 horsepower, but hey, once you get with it, you're right. Yeah, you look at an old car and there's something about it, isn't it? But you look at a current car, I mean, it's like looking at current Formula One cars, but you go back and look at a car from the 80s and 90s, uh, and they're beautiful, aren't they? So we looked at it and thought, OK, well, Libra and Atlantic Specifics, we'll join the two together. I sent out a few emails, and all of a sudden I was inundated with replies from people, and now I've got a list of over 93 cars, which is amazing. Talking with Chris Watson from HRC, we came up with this little baby, and this is the uh, ultimate trophy that was first awarded in 1956 and was won by George Smith, uh, presented at Ardmore at the New Zealand Grand Prix. And uh, it's been won by other luminaries, including Howden Ganley. And, and Howden had never seen this trophy. He won it in at 1960 at Ardmore, but for some reason it wasn't there that day and was never presented to him. And he never got his hands on it until the New Zealand Motor Cup this year. And he actually got hold of it. So, um, so we felt this would be a great award. We would present that to the overall winner of the Formula Libra slash Pacific Series for 2016, 2017. Now how that's gonna work is it's gonna be run over basically five or six rounds, uh, Hampton Downs, Pukekohe, Taupo. Uh, you'll be able to drop your worst two rounds and it is going to be divided up in classes. So there'll be Formula Atlantic or Pacific, uh, and Formula Libra, and possibly Formula Suzuki. We know there's about 20 of them in the country. If we can get them all out together, then they could have their own series. And it'll be done on a points draw. Each meeting, there'll be the first, second, and the third from each class will win a smaller trophy. And then for the final, who, who at the end of the season, whoever accumulated the most points, obviously gets to win this beauty which is the New Zealand Grand Prix Ultimate Trophy. So there you go, watch the space for next summer 2016, 2017, and someone will win the cup. And if you've got a Formula Atlantic, Formula Libra, get it out, we want it.